Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good afternoon to you. I got a tropical update for you today. Now, not only is Ida bringing tornadoes all over the place, plus the flood and rains, I'm sure y'all seen the videos, I've seen them myself, but now we have an Invest, Invest 91L. And I have some new information for y'all. I have found that maybe it's a potential major hurricane. I'm going to go through everything I have for you. That way you can see for yourself what, what exactly is going on. If you've never been here before, hello. My name is Mark. I do upload every single day. Just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. That's Sabbath. But we'll make sure you're covered. But at the same time, make sure you just subscribe because I am all year long. Matter of fact, we've been knowing about Major Hurricane Ida for about three to four weeks. And we've been noticing a double back-to-back -back chance of Gulf hurricanes for over two weeks now. And I tell you, y'all do have the tornadoes popping everywhere. You can see it all over here by Roanoke. You can see it over here by Dothan going very fast towards Georgia. This is a very mean system, and there's going to be a lot of problems tonight. Remember, like always, I always put the links in the description to save you time. Share this video on social media. We need to alert not only the, all the Gulf states, because so far Mississippi and others, Alabama, they have power outages as well. Louisiana is still over a million homes without power, and they need to get word of this because this could be coming within the next six to seven days. And I have noticed that they have worked on y'all. So if you see this area right here, this used to be red. Now it's good. They got, they got power on. So they are working on y'all. I don't think this is going to be weeks. Hopefully you get your power back in days. However, all this is starting to look very good. It's just lower where the main hit was. It's still taking a while to get to y'all. So the parishes that they are continually to work on right now is West Feliciana, East Feliciana, St. Helena, Washington. We also got East Baton Rouge, Iberville, and Assumption. Those are the ones going down the fastest, and they're literally working their way to y'all. Now, just like this morning for the tornado threat, it looks like we were right, guys, because it is starting to ramp up. There is going to be some very bad wind gusts. Matter of fact, some things have gone up. We do have a 2% chance for tornadoes for the rest of tonight. Plus this big 5% right here that has grown throughout the day. Here's your cities that's in the 2% and the 5%. Tomorrow, your tornado threat has increased. Not only do you have the big 2% and the big 5%, but now you got a sharp 10%. And that's where we've been seeing all that convection, all them winds. And the 10%, 5%, and the 2% is all right here, your main cities, with the 10% being the yellow. And it is going to bring a lot of wind with it. You do have a big 5% and a big 15% slight area for wind. And around noon tomorrow, it's going to pass by and go by Pennsylvania and start getting really good by Hagerstown, Harrisonburg, Lancaster. That's around 6 p.m. for tomorrow. Then it's going to pass by Reading, Philadelphia, Wilmington. This is all 40s, high 40s possibility for 50s. All the way to midnight, it's going to be an overnight storm when it carries over towards the northeast the New England states. So by 10 p.m. tomorrow, the 50 miles per hour wind gust is going to be carrying over towards Philadelphia, Allentown, New Jersey. It will pick up some around New York around 5 o'clock in the morning and go by New York, Long Island, even part portions of Connecticut all the way up to Hartford. Could see 40 miles per hour wind gusts. So far, it looks like the worst part is sometime around 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. going into Thursday. Now we do have updates on the tropics guys we have tropical depression ida and it's bringing lots of rainfall you knew that this morning i have an update on that it's a lot heavier for pennsylvania we have tropical depression kate still not causing any worries nobody and tropical depression 12 which is predicted to be a cat 2 hurricane so far no threat to nobody but it is doing a little snake wiggle so we do have to keep our eye on it i'm still showing a chance for that to come towards south carolina again now we got Disturbance 1, which has a 20% chance in 48 hours or in 5 days. This is Invest 91L. This was the back-to-back -back hurricanes that we saw a while back. This heavy rainfall you see here is within the next 2 days. You have 1 to 2 inches in the light green, 2 to 4 inches in the dark green. You have 4 to 6 inches in all this yellow and 6 to 10 inches expected in all of this orange. And this big mess of disorganized thunderstorms is Invest 91L. And there's some things with Invest 91L. There's a chance it won't happen. And there's a chance it'll be a major hurricane. Let me show you all the factors. Now we do have a track so far, a model guidance on Invest 91L. And it's still moving around in 24 hours, but in 48 hours it's predicted to make a move. 
and sometime within five days it's going to be over the Bay of Campeche and that's really going to be up to the gyre on what this storm is going to do after that because some is showing an east pack some is showing it comes up through the Gulf no updated their global tropics and you can see right here from September 1st to September 7th a development of a tropical cyclone tropical depression strength or greater is predicted to be Western Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico mostly by the Bay of Campeche now according to the GFS 950 and below millibars that's the bright pink that you see right here bombing around as it came out of the Bay of Campeche and strengthened up towards Louisiana as a major hurricane now when you look through the euro the euro don't find it the euro shows it's just a bunch of weak systems passing through the jar when you look through the gm model which is the cmc which has been picking up on this for quite some time it shows also that it will bobble around and strengthen up and head towards louisiana that red circle is a 960 to a 979 model also picks up that 12 will head a little closer to the coast before somewhat of a turn then the other ones are predicting. Now, I'm going to use this for a timetable to show you all something. Uh, if you've never been here before, we've been talking about right here, uh, about Major Hurricane Ida. A little over three weeks ago, maybe four weeks if we go back to a couple videos. But we've been noticing right here, back-to-back -back chance for hurricanes in the Gulf two weeks ago. So these are about a week apart. So for Ida to be coming now and then... In a week we might have this problem that we've been seeing that so that's kind of like not new and it's actually could be happening now if you didn't see my video from the other day where i explained all the cold front and the temperatures and what is going to through these storms i recommend you go see it because uh, i'm still showing according to the ao of the euro that this is coming down around a second or a third for the cold front and then it's going to be a weak one from the fourth on maybe something coming around the tenth and we need, we need these, these cold fronts to come down because it's going to put a big trough in the southeast and this will block any systems from coming in. Well, in the second, it can block anything in the beginning, but it's showing that towards the second punch, where it's any time from the 5th all the way to the 10th, there's not going to be a deep trough blocking this. It's going to come after. GFS confirms this as well. All the way from the first and second, maybe even drag it on to the third. But then it goes on a sharp high ridge and it stays that way. And it don't come back to the southeast. Now the CMC model showed that not only does this finally come out sometime around the 7th. This is the 12Z. This is the one that showed it a little bit earlier. And it goes towards Louisiana as a 978. And not only does it do that, it also shows that this one over here, the 12, actually gets co close to the coast while Invest 91L rips right up the center of the U.S. and the Northeast, bringing lots of rainfall. And this actually is getting a little straight and a little close. GFS shows that it does get blocked all the way to the 10th and the 11th. And then when you get around the 12th and 13th, the gyre keeps everything spinning and it comes back into the Gulf sometime around the 13th. And as it goes towards Louisiana, it just intensifies greatly to a potential major all the way down to a 948. That is a strong storm. And another model that you see here, the Nav Gym, which usually we don't go by, but it's another factor that I wanted you to take a look. All the way to the 7th, as this storm starts moving around, we get our disorganized thunderstorms in the Bay of Campeche. And it shows that within six hours, it just pops up becomes a storm and that could head towards Florida. The CMC model confirms that it goes into the Bay of Campeche, but it gets its energy, keeps its rotation, and starts headed on the 7th towards Louisiana on the 8th, making landfall somewhere by western Louisiana. Now here's an update on the GFS. You can see all the energy coming to the Bay of Campeche, but you can see as it bombles around, we also get a system off the east pack. And I think the East Pack takes the whole blunt of all the energy and rolls with it because I don't think it comes back. The latest runs show that this really isn't going to form and it goes off into the East Pack. And so far, that's the update, guys. I will keep you all updated. I will stay on top of this. You know I will. So if And if you use social media, please share this information. Try and get the word out. A lot of people in Louisiana without power, they need to think about this. A lot of people in Mississippi and Alabama as well. 
God bless all of you that is going through that still. I want to get this information out to y'all before it gets too late. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, please. I appreciate it. And if you don't use social media, that's the best way to show support on my channel and to get YouTube to suggest it is for you to just hit the like button. It'll do it for you. Thank you again. Today I want to read something very special. I think something we should go to bed with in our hearts. God bless you all. Matthew 11. And it came to pass, when Jesus had made an end of commanding his twelve disciples, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Now when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples, and said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. And as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yes, I say unto you, and more than a prophet, for this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take, take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John, and if ye will receive it, this is Elias which was for to come. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets, and calling unto their fellows, and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he hath a devil. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous and a wine-bibber, a friend of public publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of her children. Then began he to, uh, to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done, because they repented not. Woe unto thee, Chorazin! Woe unto thee, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted unto heaven, shall be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable for the, for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. At that time Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it is seemed good in thy sight, all things are delivered unto me of my Father. And no man knoweth the Son, but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son. And he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Amen.
I will update you and see what's going on with this golf storm because that's the last thing anybody in the golf needs is another Ida. All glory. Does go to Yahweh. God of Jacob. The Almighty. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. Have a great night tonight. Stay positive. For he's in control. This is all going just the way it's supposed to be. I'll see you tomorrow.